mangrove forests. They've got quite the resume. These remarkable trees are rooted in the salty sediments between the land and sea and provide a home to creatures great and small. They provide a safe haven for juvenile fish to grow and hiding places for steely-eyed predators lurking below the surface. They filter the ocean, stabilise the shore and limit the reach of the most threatening and devastating storms. The services they provide to coastal people are just as diverse. From fisheries and food to providing for cooking and building. Yet, globally, they are being destroyed faster than they can regrow. And the knock-on impact of their loss goes far beyond the shore. But mangroves have one more trick up their sleeve. As they grow, they pull CO2 out of the atmosphere, storing it within their roots and sediments. This stored CO2 is also valuable on the international carbon trading market. In Madagascar, communities have launched the world's largest mangrove carbon conservation project, Tahiri Honko. They plan to protect and restore 1,200 hectares of mangroves, or blue forests, funded from the sale of mangrove carbon credits. In the fight against climate change, the mighty mangrove is a powerful ally. If we can preserve the forests that remain and replant the ones we've lost, there could be a chance for us to turn the tide, both for these natural life support systems and for the people that rely on them.